Excellent. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you again so much for coming on. Thank you for reaching out. Absolutely. Visit the website um, and look at it for yourself. Uh, Great gigs on Fiverr, and I appreciate you. All right, great talking to you, and I hope to see you again. Yeah, definitely. Have a good night. All right, night. All right, that was Paul Davis. Check out his Fiverr link. He is talking about financial freedom, talking about how to be a millionaire, something that he's actually done. Uh, practical ways that you can get there. So we're going to take a break. When we get back, the phone lines are open. You can call in for whatever you want to talk about. 469-351-0881. 469-351-0881. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll be right back after this break. We all hate when we have unexpected car problems. Well, I am here to tell you about a viable solution. Bay 11 Auto and my man, Melvin. You have emission problems? Brakes need changing? Transmission slipping? Is your car just driving sluggish? No problem is too big. I live on the other side of town and I drive over an hour to a guy that I trust. Melvin is honest, dependable, and definitely not in the business to break your pockets. Come see the official mechanic, Melvin. At Bay 11 Auto, you will be glad you did. You can reach him at 1455 General Arts Road, Conyers, Georgia, or 404-295-5715. That's 404-295-5715. And Ice from the Canaan Ice Show. Hey, you're tuned in to Big Bad Ben of the BS3 Sports Show. In a world where music and sports collide, it's BS3 Sports and Music. Welcome back to the weekend wrap-up show. Special time, special edition. Phone lines are open if you guys want to call in. 469-351-0881. Whatever's on your mind. Whatever you want to get off your chest, feel free and call in. So, there's a couple other winners from the first weekend of the AAF. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. But, a couple other winners that I wanted to point out. Well, winners and losers. Orlando coach Steve Spurrier. Steve Spurrier getting back into football, back into coaching. Shout out to Steve Spurrier, man. The dude's got to be like 73. Wow, he's 73. 73 years old, still on the sideline. Um, But he made a play call where the guy was, he was on the sideline calling a play and he was basically saying, let's do that play again, but this time, make sure the guy catches it. (laughs) Steve Spurrier still with the jokes. I don't know how much longer he's going to be coaching, but Steve Spurrier is still with the jokes. Um, Christian Hackenberg. Christian Hackenberg, former New York Jets player, plays for the Memphis Express, went 10 for 23 and 87 yards in a 26 to nothing loss. That's not good, Christian Hackenberg. That's not good at all. Um, the wonder why the Jets let you go. But I think this... Like I said, I think this league will definitely have some upside for a couple of reasons. One, like I said, they're partnering with the NFL. They're not trying to do this on their own. They're not trying to battle the NFL. Also, two, they have names that we are most or some that we are familiar with. Also, Luis Perez. Luis Perez is the quarterback for, let me see which team that is, but he's the quarterback for one of the teams he was the he was in the division two champion for the Texas A and M Commerce team, but he's a quarterback for the Birmingham Iron. Birmingham Iron, they won their game this past weekend, twenty six to nothing over Memphis. So, man, I think this is going to be interesting. I really do. Uh, let's go over to some some uh, NBA. Russell Westbrook continues to dominate with triple doubles. Continues to dominate with triple doubles. Uh, I, I will forever be impressed with 
Russell Westbrook, uh, his play, his his attitude. I actually, I think that that is that killer instinct is what he has. He he has it. It's not like he needs to find it. He has that killer instinct. So big ups to Russell Westbrook. He at 18, 10, and 11. The ninth straight triple double to tie Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt, you know the greatness of Wilt. 100 points. You know the greatness of Wilt off the court too. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, the Clippers come back down from as many as 28 to beat the Celtics by 11. Uh, Celtics got booed. That wasn't a good look. And also Kyrie goes out with a knee sprain, doesn't return. Um, I think, I don't know how much longer Kyrie has to be fully healthy. I, I don't know. I, I really, because this knee injury, I don't know how, how much longer this is going to continue to be an issue. But if it is one of those lingering issues, like somebody mentioned in the chat room, kind of reminds you of Penny. Uh, shout out to Big L that came in when I was interviewing Paul Davis. Also, Courtney Harden in the building. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Phone lines are open 469-351-0881. I talked about LeBron and Rondo or LeBrondo in the words of Tucker Dale Booth that was on the show. And I kind of like their friendship, though. I think that's, you know, you keep the, the veterans together. I, that's kind of a, one of those unthought of friendships, you know, that you have or that you didn't think would go down like that. The two of them. Uh, but shout out to those two. I hope they continue to build a bond. Uh, Mochi said earlier that Rondo's probably going to be coaching the team. <laughs> Who knows? I don't see Rondo, though, being that guy. I don't see that happening. Also, the Knicks, the New York Knicks, who are always in the news just like the Cowboys. They will always be in the news continuously because they're the most valuable franchise. The Knicks had a post The Knicks had a post basically showing promo for season ticket renewals. And they had Durant, no, he wasn't in a Knicks jersey. He was in a Warriors jersey defending someone and they decided to remove that uh, and maybe you know, KD being KD probably told the Knicks to put that down or I will be prompted to sue you. That's probably what happened. Kevin says, they're the only grown-ups in the room. You're right about that. A lot of youngins. A lot of youngins on that Lakers team. But I'm sure KD probably sent the Knicks an email and said, hey, I don't like my face being on there. Remove that, please. Thank you. And he probably put like a wink emoji or something. KD probably uses a bunch of emojis. And I'm just saying that he just seems like a guy that would use all types of emojis. Score update. The Mavs are getting drug right now. 97 to 80. Bucks up 83-73. Timber Wolves 94-84. Thunder 87-77 over the Trailblazers. The Heat and Nuggets 47-46. My UNC Tar Heels did lose. It hurts. Uh, they lost the matchup against Virginia. This would have really been a good game to win. You, you really needed to, I think, needed to win this game, especially with the way things are going right now. So my Tar Heels not getting a win against Virginia. I was hoping that that was going to happen. I was really, I was watching the score, uh, but it did not happen. This flat out did not happen. So we had a game yesterday that was featured on the Statement Games contest. 
which was the Lakers versus the 76ers. And guess who balled out in that game? One and only Kyle Kuzma. The Kuz. I guess you can call him the Kuz. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma. 39 points, three, bound, three rebounds, one assist. It was not enough, though. It was not enough. Lakers end up losing 143-120. to 120. LeBron had 18 and 10 and 9, almost had a triple-double. Kuz was doing his thing. Brandon Ingram had 21. Joel Embiid had 37, 14, and 3. You know, I, I'm, I was wondering what is this team going to look like? What is this Lakers team going to look like with all of these youngins here? They were all somewhat on the trading block. So I just, you got to think, what is their psyche going to be for the rest of this season? Maybe they'll get past it. Maybe, you know, there was someone in the chat room. I think it was Al Thompson or someone, but they were basically saying, Oh, said Galloway, basically saying that this was a lesson to them that it's a business. This is flat out a business. This is not for fun. This is not a hobby. This is not you playing at the hoop it up or playing at the run and shoot. This is business. So I think that did teach these kids a valuable lesson. They are young and you got to learn these lessons. Sometimes you got to learn them the hard way. But 76ers trounce the Lakers 143 to 120. So that was the first statement games that I've had for basketball. I'll be doing another one on the 23rd. So be on the lookout for that one. I'll let you know. I'll keep you guys posted. There are there always are giveaways. This one was the Applebee's gift card. So I'll hit you guys up. This next one will be on Saturday the 23rd. It will be for the marquee matchup for the Rockets and the Warriors. That's going to be a good game. The Magic should have been should have never never said anything about Ben Simmons says Mochi's. Yeah, when you start when you start talking too much, that draws attention. I'm gonna do a reference to to dead presidents. He wasn't necessarily talking, but you remember if you've seen that movie when they robbed the bank, they were like, we're not going to do anything for a certain amount of time. The dude pulls up in a clean polyester, probably patent leather suit with a caddy. And they were like, we told you we agreed to not do anything. I relate this to the situation with magic. When you start talking too much, the league will notice. Magic is one of the greats, but he is not invincible when it comes to being a GM slash president, whatever, I, don't, I guess president is his actual title. So you just got to be careful. You just, you just have to, because this is, there's tampering that's been going on. There's issues that you cannot just ignore. And as you continue to talk, it will get brought to the surface. It, it just does. That's just the way things are. And the NBA will not just let anything go by. They already find Anthony Davis. HRAP B says he had to he had to would it have come then it would have been worse. P.S. Ben that was good fellas. Oh my bad. <laughs> but dead presidents though wasn't there a part in that movie wasn't there a part in that movie where after they robbed the they robbed the Brinks truck and one of the characters in the movie bought like a suit and a caddy I could have sworn that was that was a that was a part in dead presidents in that movie but yeah magic you know I'm not saying not talk to people I'm just saying keep it on the low low Keep it on the low low. Don't put it all out there in the media. You know how the media twists and turns a lot of things. So just... just